for a woman, breast is something very important. This is a sign of femininity. And uh, we're very uh, sensitive about our breasts. It's a big part of our beauty. But how much we know about our breast? Uh, it needs taking a lot of care. And uh, unless and until we know the problems with the breast, we are most of the time not aware of the complications and the problems which are associated with the breast. We hardly talk about breast. We are trying to most of the time we are very shy about discussing our problem about breast. So that is the main reason that most of the female they suffer uh, from the breast problems and uh, they become very advanced and uh, I want to tell you that this is very simple way you can take care of your breast. Like uh, suppose a young girl is having very common problem with a young girl is a development of any deformity or sometimes the breast is smaller, other breast is not well developed and they are very shy to talk about it. They can be taken care of, there are so many other ways like you can actually go for surgeries, you can go for uh, simple counselling can help also. So uh, most important thing is to discuss it out. Very important that a mother should discuss about breasts to her daughters. When they are growing up, they should actually sit with their daughters, explain uh, what are the, how they develop, any problems, like what are the common problems in young girls. Like most important is sometimes the uh, shape is different, the nipple is not well developed, inverted nipple can be a problem in young girls and sometimes some discharges can be there and the most common is lump. If there is any lump in the breast that they should discuss it out with their mother or the mother should teach every girl how to do a self breast examination from the puberty itself. So a lot of problems can be solved when they just examine them, so mother should teach them. And other problems which are there uh, when a lady is pregnant, that is the time a lot of care should be taken. People generally uh, neglect, uh, they uh, do not take care of their breasts, suppose. At the time, there is a lot of develop, uh, changes occurring in the breast, like there is engorgement of the breast because of the hormonal body is preparing for the breast for the breastfeeding for the child and there is a development, there is an enlargement of the breast and sometimes people have pain also and this is some sometimes some patient may develop infection and during lactation also when the breast feeding they are not taking care of the breast, they are not cleaning the breast and what happens suppose they are feeding the breast from one side the other side remains engorged and this is the reason when there is a stagnation there is a the accumulation of uh, milk in one breast this is a source of infection can be there and we call a lactational abscesses there can be infection there will be redness severe pain or there can be a simple thing like cracking of the nipple and another thing that suppose there is an inversion of the nipple in that case patient may find it difficult to feed the child and these things can be easily taken care of if somebody is, you know, you can simple massage or you can express the milk, you can breast, use a simple breast pump and after every feed, if you clean the nipple and uh, you wear comfortable clothes, sometimes people are not aware that tight clothes, tight inners, if they are wearing inners very tight, they actually suppose you are wearing a tight shoe and wearing a, uh, that will give you a lot of pain. Most of the pain is sometimes because of ill-fitting bras. So you ladies should know that whenever they are choosing a nurse, they should be very comfortable, they should wear it and then just then only they should wear. Otherwise what happens if you are wearing a very ill-fitting bras, the nipple gets compressed and that is sometimes some secretions cannot come out and that, that is another reason that people can have infection of the nipple because the secretions are not coming out. So we call it mastitis or whatever, this are, these are the terms used but this is very simple like if you take care of you clean the nipple and uh, during bath you can just take little soap and clean the nipple so that the uh, ducts are not getting blocked and simple massage and comfortable bras can take you long way and they can avoid all these infections and regular checkup should be done by the phys if you are 30 plus then you should have a clinical checkup and most of the time you are worried about the cancer but the cancer is only 5 to 10 percent of the problem of all the breasts. The most common is the pain which is very simple most of the time the pain is premenstrual 
and that time uh, it is just a hormonal changes because breast size increases in during uh, periods before periods and at the time it becomes heavy also so engorgement is there so this simple thing if you just talk to your parents or talk to your doctor so that agony that i'm having some problem i'm having some pain that goes away and people should realize a simple pain is not a problem if you put a lump that is something you should go to a doctor and uh, lumps always are not malignancy that is what we want to tell that 80% 85% lumps are not malignancy there are other problems like there can be simple infection there can be simple cyst these are also problems which can be solved do not even require any uh, surgery most of the time and if anybody is having bleeding from the nipple or anybody is having a silent growing tumor heart tumor then that could be malignancy and uh, immediate action should be taken then you can go for ultrasonography most important self breast examination all girls should go for self breast examination from 20 years of age and if they find any abnormality in the nipple deformity if there is secretion in the nipple if there is a bleeding from the nipple or is there any hard mass in the breast then they should immediately consult some doctor and most of the time that can be taken care of it may not be cancer and if any suspicion is there then go for ultrasonography uh, below the age of 40 you should not go for mammography above 40 you should go for mammography that too if the doctor says and if required go for any investigation like simple fnac and a simple biopsy can prove if it is a malignancy or not malignancy don't fear about this uh, investigations there is a myth that because of this in this investigation may lead into malignancy or it will cause spread of the tumor which is a myth it doesn't happen so if some doctor tells you to go for an fnac or a simple biopsy you should go for it and a regular checkup is the answer for all the breast problems